There we go. Hey guys, so we're back again today. We're gonna try to get this all squared away. We've got the grill running right now. It's not perfect, but we're gonna try to fix that a little bit. The only thing that I wanna do today is I wanna get all this crap cleaned up, all the bubble gum welds. We're gonna grind away some of the sharp edges so that people don't get uh, blasted whenever they just walk past the thing and start squirting blood everywhere. We're gonna paint it, and I'm gonna try to fix this little problem that we got going on. You see, this side here that has the longer pipe, the flame is only about an inch tall, but on the other side, we've got a solid two inches, so it's double the pressure on the other side. It's also causing a funny, a funny burn pattern, but at the very least, We've got boiling water, which is exactly what we're going for. So <clears throat> stick around, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna have a good time. I've got my kids here today, maybe they'll help me a little bit and uh, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll finish up this series. For me to fix this, right, what I have to do is I have to equalize the pressure in the pipes. So what I'm thinking of doing, I know that this pipe's longer. So I have to, I've got two different plans, right? First thing I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna to try to create a loop on the back side. I've got a street 90 and a standard 90, and I'm just gonna thread it right onto the ends of the pipes to hopefully cause a continuous motion of gas. If that doesn't work, I've got a coupling here. And what I'll end up doing on this end, I've got a T. What I'll end up doing is eliminating this T, putting a coupling there, and running gas continuously from one end to the other and blocking off this second pipe. So, I got a couple different options. Work, and worst case scenario, I just run it the way it is. It, it works well enough to boil water, which is really all I need, but efficiency is key. So, I'm gonna try to make it a little more efficient. So just, yeah, everything can be better. So it's not okay. Got my street 90 and my standard 90, and they're gonna just go right here on the end. Now, let me tell you something don't use a street 90 because threads, pipe threads, tapered. You probably know that. Well, when you're trying to fit a pre determined size. And you need those threads to go in a little further. You're gonna have to pull out the. You're not. It's it's just not. It's not fun. So I'm gonna get this pipe loosened up here, and uh, I'm gonna have to thread it with the 90 over here at the same time. It's gonna be a little bit goofy, but that's all right. It could be worse. I'll let you wash. I got everything dry fitted. It's all one continuous loop now, which is gonna make things, you know, a little bit different than what was planned, but I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the gas on and see how it does. Woo! Yellow. Let's lost my eyebrows. Yeah, this is like a thousand times better than it was. I've got equal flame height the whole way across. The mixture seems pretty good. I've got, it looks like it's a little bit, I got a little bit of mixtures not real great on these first three, five burns, something like that. But overall, I think this is gonna work perfect. This is gonna work great. It's hot. Oh, it's like, I blow it out with the relight itself. We know that the burner works good now. We know that it's completely functional. 
I'm not going to take you through every step of sealing all the pipes or nothing like that. So I've got a few things that I want to do today and we're just going to knock them out real quick. I want to deburr it, I want to paint it, and I want to take the top of this desk here, right there, that was originally on the top of the framework and we're going to cut it down and mount it right to that. Um, there's only one caveat. I don't have a circular saw here with me. So I do, however, have a hacksaw that will work just fine. I might take a little bit of video of that. Just a little bit. But uh, being that this is a an auto mechanics garage and not a, you know, place of carpentry, we don't really have any use for circular saws here and mine's at home. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to deburr it, paint it, and uh, get some this little tabletop set on there. Truth be told, the big grinder's set up for working on that uh, 49 Chevrolet over there. So I'm going to leave it be. It's got a nice little wire wheel on it for cleaning up some rust. So I'll just keep at it with the little grinder, piece by piece by piece. Okay, I got some overhang back here I want to cut off real quick. Alright, so I got it all tore apart. Got the tank off of it, all the plumbing off of it. My good friend Nick here stopped by. He's going to be welding some stuff together, but time to do some painting and I think we're going to try something a little bit different. It's going to be like, maybe we're going to do a ah, paint montage. Okay, so if you're like me and you have limited tooling, there's multiple ways that you can cut a piece of wood, right? You could do it like the Egyptians did and drill holes all through it and then bust that fucker in half. I'm not gonna do that today. I do have old fashioned hacksaw with some really aggressive teeth on it. And we're gonna try that. But right now I'm just getting it marked so that I can draw a straight line across it. And uh, we'll just try cutting it. It might cut like butter. It's particle board. Hmm. What is the smartest way to do this? There's no smart way to do this. If you were wondering, there's no smart way. Stupid shit. So we're gonna go and get a circular saw. Come with me. We're gonna go places. We gotta run home real fast. Gotta run home real fast. Go pick up the circular saw. What? Gotta run home. We're gonna go pick up a circular saw. Then we're gonna come back. So next time you see me, it'll probably be back in the garage. So we made it back. We got our saw. We're gonna cut some wood now. Hopefully we should be done with this in the next couple minutes. Time to do some sketchy shit. Do that. Much more better. Much cleaner cut. There's a bit on there. I don't know. Look at that. 
a propane tank on fit on the nice thing. Now the next piece that we got to do, the next piece that we got to do has got to be shorter just so then it can fit inside of these angle iron rails, right? So next piece is going to be a little shorter. It means three cuts, but uh, should be simple enough. Just hammer on, hammer down. As you can see, just about all done. The stand's completely done now, nice and clean. Seems to work pretty well. I'm really, really happy with it. So what we have left, all we have left is uh, we've got to do the final assembly. You know, reseal all my fittings on my plumbing. I'm a plumber. Just like that, all done. Look at that. Now for the moment of truth. Let's see if it'll fire. And there you have it guys, it's officially done. After two days and a lot of brain racking and drilling holes and welding when I suck at welding, it's finally done, it's working awesome. Was able to boil, I don't know, maybe two gallons of water in about eight minutes, which is just incredible. It's just great. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I got so much footage that I gotta edit, so we'll see how it goes. Should be three videos. If you like this kind of content, please leave me a like and subscribe. If you don't like it, throw me a dislike and drop down into the comments section below and tell me how I can make it better. And if you did like it and you want to say something, drop down into the comments as well. Tell me how I could have made this thing better. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day. But before you go, oh, I know it's amazing. It's amazing. Oh my God.